Hello and welcome to this video on the Wendish Crusade, a significant but often overlooked event in European history. In the early 12th century, Christian Europe launched a series of military campaigns against the pagan tribes of the Baltic region, known as the Baltic Crusades. Today, we will focus on one particular campaign, the Wendish Crusade, which took place in the late 12th century and targeted the pagan Wends, a Slavic people who lived in what is now northern Germany and Poland. To understand the Wendish Crusade, we need to go back to the 12th century. At this time, Christianity was spreading across Europe, and the Catholic Church was looking for ways to expand its influence. The Baltic region was seen as a fertile ground for missionary work, but the local pagan tribes were resistant to conversion. In response, the Pope authorized a series of military campaigns to forcibly convert or subjugate the pagans. These campaigns were known as the Baltic Crusades. The Wendish Crusade The Wendish Crusade took place in the late 12th century and was led by a German prince named Henry the Lion. The Winds were a powerful pagan tribe that lived in the areas now known as Mecklenburg, Pomerania, and Eastern Brandenburg. Henry the Lion, along with his allies from Denmark and Saxony, launched a military campaign against the Wends with the goal of subjugating them and converting them to Christianity. The campaign was brutal and marked by numerous battles and atrocities committed by both sides. The Wends were known for their fierce resistance, and they put up a strong defense against the German invaders. However, they were eventually defeated, and their leaders were forced to submit to Henry the Lion's authority. Many of the Wends were forcibly converted to Christianity, and their pagan temples and sacred sites were destroyed. Aftermath, the Wendish Crusade had a significant impact on the Baltic region. It paved the way for the Christianization of the area and helped to establish German influence in Northern Europe. However, it also had a devastating impact on the Wends. The forced conversion and subjugation of their people led to a loss of identity and culture, and their lands were confiscated by the German nobility. In conclusion, the Wendish Crusade was a significant but often overlooked event in European history. It was part of a broader effort by the Catholic Church to expand its influence and convert the pagan tribes of the Baltic region. While it had a lasting impact on the region, it also had a devastating impact on the Wends, who were forcibly converted and subjugated by the German invaders. The Wendish Crusade serves as a reminder of the complex and often violent interactions between different cultures and religions in medieval Europe. Thank you for watching.